Mm. Hello? Hey, Luma. It's Jay Whitman. Remember me? Mm. Yeah, I remember. Listen, don't be at my place stalking my customers. I don't need you coming around here stalking my customers and they're feeling uncomfortable. I'm not calling about your customers. Listen, what if I told you that I can blast your restaurant across the whole city? Keep talking. But it's something you got to do for me. Mm. I need a recipe, but not just any recipe. What a recipe. <laughs> We're back. You're listening to the hottest cat in the game. Say my name, say my name. DJ Frankie Snow in the Comedian Dog Williams. Bro, you the entrepreneur? Yeah. What happened to Tasha? Was that Comedian Dog Williams? Man, he just put her ass in the oven. Roasted. Right on the air. Anyway, it's the next segment. We can get you in and out right away. Well, it was supposed to be me and Tasha talking. We were supposed to be going over some things. You in or out? Right now, we're going to hit the phones. I got a couple of callers on the line. Caller number one, this is DJ Frankie Snow. Talk to me. Hey, yo. You a ball player, man? Yeah. Championship? Super Bowl. Good for you. You know, I used to play a little ball, man. Yeah. Took a hit, though, man. Ain't play no more. Good for you. Okay, I got some special guests in the building. Y'all just heard his single, Fireflies. Put your hands together for R&B crooner J.X. Hine. What's up, my brother? You good? Appreciate you for having me, man. Appreciate man, you. glad to have you. Yes, sir. Now, got two more guests in the building. All right. Y'all know I love those dirty birds. Y'all know that the Falcons is my team. And you know I wanted to be a football player before I became a DJ. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Super Bowl champ Brian Brayman and Najee Good. What's up, my brothers? Y'all good? What's up? What's up? What's up? Listen, I'm going to circle back, introduce my last guest, okay? All right, last but not least, I have celebrity entrepreneur, Mr. You know what I'm going to do, y'all? We're going we gonna, to we gonna switch this thing up a little bit. I'm going to go off script a little bit. I'm going to let this brother introduce himself. My brother, tell the people who you are. I'm Jay Whitman. I own an upholstery shop. Okay. It's in Atlanta. Okay, a upholstery shop in Atlanta. So uh, how did you manage to make your business one of the most established businesses in the city? Well, that's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, I mean, a couple of other upholstery shops, they know who we are, but, but yeah, I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't take it that far, no. Okay. I'm sorry, uh, I was uh, expecting Tasha, I guess she ran out or something. I don't, I don't know what happened with her. Hey, out there in Radio Land, my man is a little modest, got a little stage fright. You know, he doesn't want to toot his own horn. He's real laid back. Ladies, you got to check him out. So what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to snow this thing down. We're going to snow this thing all the way down. All right? Now. Help me out here. I'm sure you have a bunch of shops established around the city. Am I right? One. One. Come on, man. You be, he's being real modest, y'all. Check this out. 
What about the one on Peachtree Industrial, the big one that everybody is talking about? That's you, right? That don't sound like mine. No, mine is small. But you have the shop that everybody is talking about. Everybody is talking about you. Am I right or wrong? Talking about me? Who? <laughs> hey, listen, listen, y'all. My man is real, real cool and laid back. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a pause for the cause and pay some bills. And we're going to circle back and talk to Mr. Whitman in about two seconds. Cool beans, you're listening to DJ Frankie Snow, the hottest, the hottest tunes on the radio. Oh, my God, bro. Bro, bro, what the fuck was that? What? Are you nervous? You good? Yeah. You're not, you're not smoking no weed before you come on the show, no shit like that? No. Because you're zoning out on me, bro. What? But you ain't got no energy, bro. Okay. This is, a, this is entertainment, man. Radio is entertainment, bro. So we want people to tune in and not change the channel. Okay. But you keep saying, okay, bro, you got to pick that shit up. Because right now, bro, when I listen to you, you sound boring than a motherfucker. You understand? You nervous? No. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to circle back. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to ask you some questions about some of the celebrities that come in your shop, okay? Okay. All right, give it to me. Come on, bro. Let's get this shit, bro. We're back. And you're listening to DJ Frankie Snow. Before we went to the break, we were talking to entrepreneur Mr. Jay Whitman about his upholstery shop. Jay, let me ask you a question. What are some of the celebrities that come into your shop? Because I know your shop is hot and you see a lot of people. You, uh, you ever heard of DMX? Yeah, of course we heard of DMX. Yeah, well, the guy that remixed one of his songs, okay. he came through. Okay, okay. And Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> That's my partner. So you got a chance to chop it up with him? I wasn't there. No, uh, a temp told me about it. I was out giving an estimate. Okay. So really, you 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 not even sure it was Emmanuel Lewis. Why would anybody lie about that? I mean, I could probably bring you a copy of the surveillance video. But... <coughs> are you are you serious, right? Wow. <laughs> yeah. You're a piece of work, bro. Oh, all right, everybody out there, before I forget, let me give a big shout out to Leslie's Kitchen for hooking up and cooking up the catering. Trust me, y'all, I've eaten there. I'm you want to drop? Give me a second. Her cooking is probably the best in the city. I'm trying to tell you, she can really cook. I know how to cook. Cook what? A poster? <laughs> Cook with a poster. <clears throat> Broccoli. I make a really nice broccoli. Okay. I can tell you about it. Why not, man? I mean, you know, um, Wow. I will. First, we start with the broccoli. I got that. But see, it's the dirt. That's what people ignore. The Sentinel Islands, it's, it's home to the oldest, most isolated civilization on the planet. Now, I'm not sure how this topsoil was stolen. Okay. But I do know that not everyone made it back alive. In exactly 82.5 degree weather, the broccoli is then soaked in 100% authenticated Vinsoive olive oil. A, a teardrop. 
of this olive oil when first extracted mm -hmm. it's more expensive than a shot of louis the 13th cognac wow wow hey man you taking me back man that yak <laughs> that yak that was my grandma's favorite drink man she get to drinking that her and my granddaddy get to fight <laughs> i'm just saying that was the good old days you know what i'm saying yeah uh, anyway um the broccoli is then isolated in triple darkness for 64 hours and then slow roasted over redwood from the Valdivian rainforest. Yeah, that's the first few steps. Wow, man, I never heard of nothing like that. Shucks, man, I put a salmon with that, bro. I, I need that blackened salmon, the cognac. I put that with a side of my broccoli with the blackened salmon. That's old school. With all due respect, the salmon would be the side item. <laughs> that's it, that's it right there. I can't stop. I can't stop, bro. Come on, man. That's my thing right there, man. That recipe, man, you gotta, you gotta tell us about that recipe. We need to know about that, bro. Oh yeah, the lady that gave me the recipe, she owns a restaurant. I'm actually supposed to shout her out. All right, well, I'm going to tell you this right now. You give a shout-out to any restaurant you shout-out on my show, it's going to blow up. Oh, before I forget, uh, any girl that drives an IROC, uh, give us a call at the station. We might have something for you. Okay. Yeah. So, w what's the name? The girl with the IROC? I don't... No, 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 not the girl with the IROC. The restaurant. The restaurant. Oh! <laughs> You know I don't know. <laughs> Was it Randy's candy? Did you hear that? Him double crust me right on the radio. What? And after I give him the damn recipe. You don't have it on your phone or something? I do. It's attached to my charger. It's attached to my car. <laughs> You tell that crook not to bring his funky ass here ever again. Ya hear me? He ain't allowed over here no more. <laughs> you tell me. That's right, Auntie. Thank you. Randy, kid. Bruh, you've been a hell of a guest. Sure, thanks for having me, man. And you listen to DJ Frankie Snow, the coldest cat on the radio. Radio, 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 radio. Hello? What's up, Jay? Reginald? <laughs> Yo, it's not a good time, man. Yeah, I know the radio thing worked, man, but it'd be a minute before I can hire you. Yeah, so call me back. So, you miss me? Well, now I know her grandmother's okay, but she still hung up the phone looking upset, telling me, <sighs> My friend just broke up with her man. So, check this out. So, my friend, she and her man are lying in bed, and she starts kissing him, working her way from his chest down to his stomach, and he kept pushing her head down, like, down there and so she moved his hand out the way and then he was like listen i need a woman who's willing to please me and i'm like girl that's the only reason why you call me crying like that's an easy fix it's an easy fix so i told her i was like listen you tell that man your mouth is made for two things eating and talking and if the man wants you to do all that wild, crazy stuff, then shoot, let him go. Shoot. It was nice hearing you on the radio. Oh, and guess what? What? I found out that 
I have tomorrow free. You still want to take me to that restaurant that you were talking about? You're talking about the expensive one downtown? Mm-hmm. Hey, Jane. How'd you know I was here? Your roommate told me you were out here. <sighs> hey, look. So what if some comedian made a couple cracks about you? Everybody's already forgotten about that. It's trending number one. Number one, look at you. Yeah. But I'll be prepared next time. Check this out. Your mother is so ugly, she went to get a job at a pest control company and they killed her. That's ugly. Okay, okay, here's another one. Your second cousin is so thin. He only has one side. Second cousin? And he can hula hoop through a Cheerio. Okay. Hey, I tried to make that broccoli and it didn't taste the same. I was thinking about going down to the restaurant and ask Lou Ma what steps I'm missing. Did you hear that? Him double cross me right on the radio. You know, I call first. Turn y'all up every yeah. weekend. She a hitter, better whole lot of niggas wanna get her. She play a role like Michael in the middle. She got an ice box where her heart used to be.